Nicole Scott here for Netbook News and here we are at the Bird's Nest after IDF Beijing 2011. It has been an exciting two days, well actually three including today with the Migo conference, That's, that went on after the show. Uh, it's very windy out so apologies for any uh, wind in the uh, microphone, I'm doing my best to cover it up. But uh, getting back to the show, there were a bunch of Oak Trail tablets, uh, there was uh, the announcement of Cedar Trail, there was the or which is the netbook platform. There was the announcement of Cloverdale, uh, which is the new uh, tablet platform that's coming up. And uh, in my opinion, one of the most underrated announcements of the show was uh, Intel's, Intel's uh, partnership with Tencent. Uh, Tencent is an internet service provider uh, here in China, and they actually uh, support uh, QQ Messaging, which is the largest instant messenger here in, in mainland, and they also have QQ Games, which uh, has a installed base of 301 million users, uh, 130 million active users um, monthly. So that's 130 million, and on the QQ Messaging, it's 2.3 million daily active users. Uh, they did tell me that there was 120 million uh, users at a time that are active at, at once on, on their service, um, which is is a phenomenal number. So Migo is going strong with Tencent. Tencent and Intel have launched an, an innovation lab in Shanghai. Uh, 60, 60 engineers so far are ramping up to 100 by the end of the show or by the end of the year. And Tencent has stated that they're looking to build tablet games that are optimized for Oak Trail. So they're going to be aggressively moving to market with Migo games focused on tablets. Uh, and they were talking about exploiting the power of Oak Trail on day one. And then on day two, they announced a partnership with Razer around their Switchblade that um, has the keyboard with the LED lights that changes around. And it has Oak Trail. And it's going to be, Ra Razer's going to be optimizing it for League of Legends first, uh, QQ Speed, and Dungeon and Fighter uh, afterwards. So. Online gaming is going to be going mobile on Oak Trail here in China. So that was a significant announcement. Uh, Oak Trail tablets were plenty here at the show. And why don't, why don't I actually show you my favorite? It was by a th uh, Evolve 3, which had a kickstand, a hardcover, and a keyboard. Very neat. So let's take a look at that. It's designed as a, a convertible. Um, during the design of the product, it, the idea of convertible comes from a convertible car. When you take the roof off the car, it becomes convertible. It's the same concept here. So we get the keyboard, magnetize it to the front, and it's a hard shell protector case. A lot of the problem with tablets is the screen can get easily broken, so that we uh, decided to make a cover to protect it. The cover also doubles up as a wireless keyboard and mouse, because uh, a lot of tablets are missing that feature as a, as a standard part of the product. So here we also just realized that uh, a lot of products are missing a kickstand. And kickstands can be really handy uh, for tablets in particular because I find myself with our previous model when I was using it that I was carrying a stand and a keyboard everywhere I went and did a lot of flying. And on the plane, it's very tedious to keep pulling out a stand. So, deciding to build it into the next model, it's here on the side. Um, we've also included HDMI and a second USB port on the back uh, and uh, micro, micro uh, SD card. So, the Maestro S running Oak Trail. Uh, actually has a triple boot. So it boots into Android, Windows, and Mego. And it's going to be coming to market in June at an unknown price point. It's going to be hitting streets in the US. So this Australian company uh, is making some interesting moves in the tablet space with their unique design and their unique software stack. So very interesting. Uh, the other thing that was announced here at the show was Cedar Trail. So the netbook platform that's going to be coming to market. Interesting because they're, they're ramping up uh, Moore's Law, which means that they're going to be coming out with faster pro uh, processors faster than they traditionally would. So we're going to be seeing Cedar Trail netbooks come to market aggressively for the holiday season. So we should be seeing them, well, some people say end of summer, some people are saying a, a bit later. So we'll see, what's, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen with that. Interesting stuff. Here's a demo of the new features that uh, are being offered on Cedar Trail that we saw at the keynote here at IDF Beijing 2011. So you've been talking about features that you're going to get with the Cedar Trail platform. Um, I actually wanted to come out and show everybody live three of the features that I, that I think are, are uh, actually my, are my favorites. So the first one is I, I've taken pictures. I've been here for about eight days. I've taken a lot of pictures. I want to show my family exactly how beautiful um, China is. So I've created a slideshow, and I'll go ahead and I'll kick that off. And we 
can go through and we can, and I'm streaming this wirelessly to my 60 inch plasma at home. So as soon as I walk in my house, I can connect to my home network and you know, instead of sitting around a little, you know, our little screen on the network, everybody gets to see it on this beautiful TV. Okay, great. And this is Intel wireless display. Okay, and but this is kind of quiet. It'd be nice to have some music to go with. Actually, you were talking about um, Intel wireless music. So we'll go ahead and we'll start that up. Um, so I can actually add music onto this. Okay. So it enhances the user's experience, and so they get a different a different flavor of, of the country. This is actually one of the, the most popular songs here in China right now. <laughs> and then the last thing that I wanted to show you is uh, you were talking about PC sync. And you always want all your devices to be able to communicate, and it's not always that easy. And what this software does, it allows me to seamlessly connect all my devices in my house and sync all the content from my home PC. And the final thing that I wanted to show you, the most exciting thing that I wanted to show you, was uh, that 10 companies got together and did a skin uh, for Migo. So they have their own UI, and here it is. It's quite an improvement from what we saw at MWC just a few months ago. So it's really exciting to see China aggressively looking at Migo as something that they, look, that they would like to roll out sooner rather than later. So this has been done by an ODM here in China, and they're using it to showcase uh, the Migo OS uh, here here in here in mainland. So we can actually click through uh, various photos here on our on our home screen. We can go over and we can ooh, there we go. We can decide to watch the music player. And if we take a look at the top of the tablet, you can see this is an Oak Trail tablet. Um, and there's heat vents up at the top. We have the for taking photos here. Uh, this is to power on. Here we have a volume rocker and a um, accelerometer switch. So we can actually turn that up and down. That's the other button. Yeah. So if we keep on looking through the home screen, you can see there's a calendar, we have post-it notes, and there's other areas for mail, and uh, I'm not sure what that so is. add a, a new icon. Oh, add a new icon, so we can customize it ourselves. So now if we hit this down here, we can go into the application section. So we do see that Opera, Opera, Opera is uh, running on Migo. Opera did a build with Opera Mobile 11 uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, and they actually did it for the Wii tab specifically, so it's great to see it running on other op um, on other Migo builds. So if we go home again, this is a home. Oh, this is home. Yeah. So how do we go back to the home screen? Uh, long press. Long oh, long press. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. So you can see here we can flip through many of the different um, applications. They're kind of sorted by folder or type as well. So it's 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 really great to see the, the progress that we've seen on Migo, even just since NWC. This is this is a definitely a new a new home screen, definitely a new a new front screen, and definitely has a whole new look and feel than. So that's been a quick look at the events that have happened at IDF 2011 here in Beijing. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News on a windy afternoon here in front of the Bird's Nest.